hey go hey what's up you're welcome back to another vlog in this one i'm gonna be meal prepping with you guys um i love to meal prep i'm literally always talking about meal prepping but i feel like i've never really showed you guys my process and how i meal prep it's always crazy i'm not gonna lie there's nothing cute about the process but i just really wanted to share with you my meal prepping you know process so i just want to like cook with you guys and you know meal prep and then share with you guys some of the meals that i have on rotation for the week so i hope that you like this vlog and yeah <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm going to be starting off with some goat meat jollof rice. If you are from Ghana, this is definitely something that you've tried before. But jollof rice is definitely one of my staples in this household. I'm starting off by prepping my goat meat. I'm just using some garlic and parsley blend. Um, I get this from the supermarket and this particular one I blend myself. If you watch my vlogs, you already know. And I'm adding some Maggi cube. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the fire and let it cook. And while the goat meat is cooking i am also going to be putting some water on the side to cook some white rice um that is going to be for my fried rice so that's what's on the other side but the goat is cooked it's all ready i'm gonna go ahead and fry this up just so that it's nice and ready for the jollof rice and then also i am cooking the rice like i said i'm just prepping some rice that is going to be doing the fried rice and now it's time to fry this goat meat i just um i just usually like to fry it for it to give me that brown color you know that golden brown color and then i'm gonna use it to make the jollof rice I made reservations Too many invitations And the last night was heavy, heavy. I need communication And then now for the jollof fries I'm just going in with my oil And that's pretty much the same thing that I use So this is a mixture of pepper, onion, um, garlic You know, just seasoning I blend all of that together And keep that in a fridge And I use that to cook And then I'm using some um, homemade tomatoes or tin tomatoes um, but this is my base for the jollof rice i'm also going to be adding some more tomato sauce because i like for my jollof rice to be rich in stew if it makes sense i like for i don't like for it to like look white i like for it to look more orangey so um i go heavy on my stew and i'm a ghana girl okay i am a serious ghana girl at heart so i'm going in with my ghana seasoning onga and sankofa these two hands down hands down will have your food tasting and smelling amazing okay so i'm just gonna go in with that and this is going to be the base for the jollof fries i also added um, another cube of maggi um sankofa doesn't have any salt so that is just herbs and then um onga does have salt and then maggie also have salt so that's the balance that is going on and then i'm also using the stock from the goat's meat or the broth that i got from um cooking the goat's meat i'm using that and my rice is cooked and ready to go next i'm gonna go in with my chicken wings so i just like to prep chicken wings and keep that in the fridge honestly it's very helpful if you know if you just have to grab something quick and this is also gonna go with the fried rice and the jollof fries anyway um so i use the same i use pretty much that same seasoning blend that i have i use it for everything that i cook so it's very convenient when i just go ahead and blend that and put it in the fridge for the week whenever i'm cooking i just pull it out use that as my base and then i'm going forward and then i also use maggi cube you guys will see a lot of maggi cube in this video because that's pretty much the only seasoning i use um i use a lot of Ghanaian type seasoning because i feel like they give me the taste that is like back home and then i'm just gonna put this in my air fryer um leave it out for about 35 minutes my daughter was acting crazy so <laughs> And then I'm just adding my rice to the jollof rice sauce. And then also, this is my secret sauce, okay? Tikka masala sauce. This is store bought. It's really good if you throw it into your jollof rice. It has so much flavor. When I tell you that this will have your entire kitchen smelling crazy, 
it's like it's beautiful and then i'm also going to um, make some egg cups okay egg cups i don't know if that's what it's called but i make these little egg cupcakes um i hear they sell them at dunkin donuts i've never really tried them from anywhere i've only tried them in my home so i make these and then i just keep them in the fridge i just bake a bunch of like eggs and veggies and just keep that in my fridge and then i put them on rotation for the week so that's just what i'm doing i think i went a little overboard i shouldn't have added that spinach because it's too big like i should have maybe chopped it up so it was it was filling out it was filling up the thing too much in ways that i didn't want it but also i'm just going ahead to like coat it with some oil and then i will put the eggs into it Hello. Um, and the chicken is going so well so while i'm doing this i'm checking on that i'm cooking like five things at a time i'm not even gonna lie like that's how crazy it looks on sunday nights for me but i love that because it gives me a smooth week um you know my mondays are chill because i have food prepped and ready to go i'm also taking a look at the jollof rice making sure that it's not like burning or anything you know like i'm making sure that everything is right and on point and i also threw some leftover pork that i had in the fridge i just added that onto it just so that we can have some more meats because i wasn't going to throw that pork away and then now i'm just stashing the eggs into the oven and then i'm about to get into the fried rice i use these um store ready veggies they always come in handy and then i'm gonna add my eggs fried rice are always so easy i also like to use some sesame oil because it's very flavorful that's the word flavorful and then i'm just gonna stir this add my rice fried rice i'm not gonna lie again for me they come really easy throw in my rice add my soy sauce add some seasoning bam 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 i'm good to go another trick that i like to do is after i stir everything i usually cover it and leave it on the um i just leave it on the stove for you know with no heat literally put it off and just cover it so that it can marinate in its own juices like trust me it will have every bit of that fried rice literally every nook and cranny of the fried rice tasting flavorful because you left it sitting for a while and the juices have just entered every part of that fried rice so try it don't take it off the fire immediately when you cook it leave it on the fire without heat for you know just for a little bit and see how extra tasty that fried rice is going to be and that's just what i'm doing so eggs are ready now i'm about to prep some oats these are overnight oats so i'm just making these for breakfast um i'm actually adding some protein this time i usually just make them raw but this time i decided to add some pure protein um so that i can have my protein going while i have my oats going <laughs> not me peeping the camera and fixing the camera at the same time so i'm just gonna add my protein into that and then i'm gonna go in with some chai seeds i love this for my overnight oats i feel like that's the only time i can eat chai and i am also adding some honey for taste and then i'm gonna do i usually do about two cups of milk because i love my milk and the oats the overnight oats they it like it literally will soak up all the milk if you don't have enough milk so i like to like you know stir with one cup of milk and then throw another cup of milk on top of it and then i'm just gonna go ahead and top it up with some fruit some banana and strawberries you know just make it a vibe so yeah And then now I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, put all the food away in their um, meal prep containers and just get them ready to be stashed in the fridge. So this is the chicken wings. The chicken wings, what I did is I actually did suya chicken wings. So I have some suya powder that I use for, you know, just random meat. And then I decided to throw some on, on top of that just to like give it a suya flavored chicken and it was a vibe so i liked that idea it was like first time but i liked it 
and then i'm just going to put the little egg caps in its bowl the jollof rice in its bowl the fried rice in its bowl that's just what i'm doing putting them in their individual meal prep containers so that i can put that in the fridge and this jollof rice we actually ate it that day <laughs> i'm not gonna lie that was the dinner that we had for the day that i had um filmed this video for you guys so it, it was small because we had it that day so we have our jollof rice we have some fried rice always a banger okay i love my fried rice it always tastes good and then i have my egg cupcakes or egg cups i don't know whatever you want to call them but they're nice then i have my chicken suya pepper chicken and then i have some overnight oats i made only two of these because i usually like a filming temp like i'm not able to eat it throughout the week so i just make like two days or three days and then that's it but this is pretty much everything that i prepped for the week this is going to at least last me like a good three days i'm not gonna lie and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye